Well, there's the aftermath. We have just picked up the largest ever European control fire order. Um, when I say ever, I mean ever. Uh, quarter million pound retail uh, for all the equipment that we've picked up. The order was, order was so large, we've even had to borrow three vans off our friends over at Clapham Commercials to head over and pick it up. So why do we need a quarter million pounds worth of control for equipment for AOS Academy? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, obviously the building system is absolutely specced up to death. Now we have everything, a fully managed Arachnis network. We've got one of the new MS switches from Pack Edge, which is gonna run our binary remote system. So that's an AV over IP solution. And um, we've got an eight by 12 binary system going in the building. Running alongside that, we've got a HD base T control for 10 by 10 audio down mixing matrix. Uh, and then obviously the fully managed network. We have two 48 port switches and four 24 port switches just in the termination box alone. And then another two switches that are inside the rack. Uh, we have audio wise, we've got 24 zones of audio. We've got a couple of triad ones. We have a triad silver 7.2.4 cinema room that's going in. We have a triad garden array going down the back. Hey, I've even given my lads working in the warehouse uh, a set of triad outdoor garden speakers for while they're working in here. Touch screens, every single bench in, in the uh, offices, everybody's got a seven inch touch screen. And then we've got a 10 inch touch screen up in the training room controlling the building. And then also one down in reception. Now let's get onto the training benches. So with the training benches at EOS Academy, you know, we're bringing guys in. We're not just gonna fob you guys off, you are getting the real deal. So basically exactly what we would fit as a business. So how we've set it up, there are four training benches, which will be running a package managed network. So what I mean by that is we'll have a package RK1 router. We've got an SX8 PoE switch. And then you've also got a package WA2200 Wi-Fi access point. So what we're gonna do with those guys is we're gonna build up a package network. They're gonna set up the devices, they're gonna set up the alerts. And then we also have a package PDU in there as well for all the power with a temperature sensor. So we can teach you how to set up the alerts on the devices, how we, and you can understand better how we remotely monitor our sites. And then the other four training benches, cause we have eight training benches in the academy. So those are gonna have Arachnis. So they have the Arachnis 310 routers. And then we have the Arachnis layer two managed switch. Again, eight part PoE going inside there. Each training bench has an EA3. So we've got an EA3 controller, which is will allow us to wire out a, an audio stream, or two audio streams in fact. It will give us a HDMI connection to the TVs, um, and it'll also give us some IR infrared control, as well as some serial control. Um, each training bench has got an external Zigbee aerial. Um, what else we've got? We've got Luma. We've got a Luma CCTV system on every single training bench. We have a triad audio matrix. We've got a, an eight by eight audio matrix, um, which will be feeding a four zone triad amp. Uh, and then in turn, you're gonna be fitting a ceiling speaker in the ceiling, which is gonna be uh, obviously a triad dual tweeter speaker. Um, aside from there, we're gonna have a 32 inch LG TV on the wall, controlled via uh, SR260 hard button remote. And then we've also got in there, uh, seven inch touchscreen for every single training bench. So on each training bench, we probably have 15,000 pounds worth of kit. So that's to give you the most realist experience on how it's gonna be in the field. Now, we are well, obviously gonna be teaching you how to build these racks, how to configure these components, how to set up a VLAN on a managed switch, how to configure the network. Now, it's gonna be real world. We're gonna teach you the stuff we do. Set up the email alerts for the clients if the rack gets too hot, uh, to ping you an email, which why I put the temperature sensors in. It's gonna be lots of real, real, real world experience on how to properly build and design an AV rack. Now, aside from that in the building, obviously with our managed network, we have four, so we have 36 parts of uh, IP control power uh, for shutting down the building. Um, and then we've, my maths was bad there, it's 34. We've got 34 parts of IP control power um, to, to manage the building. We have a 10 inch touch screen up in a tech support lab. We have a Obviously, the wireless touchscreens everywhere, and then throughout the building, we've got four Neo remotes, and then we've got six SR260 remotes because technically it's 20 zones of video distribution. <sighs> that was all a mouthful. Um, so yeah, here's remnants of some of the boxes. Get all the bits unloaded. Um, now, obviously, our building, our building, we have a strong room in it we have a smoke cloak in it. So um, all the, the stuff in here that we'd like to protect is all protected very well via all that. So we have a, a, a fully grade two monitored alarm in the building, fitted by our guys at Landsafe. Every door within the building is controlled by Paxton. And then we even have a smoke cloak, so, um, and a very good insurance policy. So the building is very, very, very well protected. 
Um, one last little bit, actually, completely forgot about the lighting. Obviously, we have control for our lighting throughout the whole building. Uh, people see our lighting panels, people want to learn how to do our lighting panels. So on every single training bench, there is a two panel control for our lighting panel enclosure with an eight channel dimmer module. We've got a buzz ethernet gateway and a buzz power supply, which will all be connected up. We're gonna have you connect those, connect the modules, number them up, furl them up, make it look great. At the back of our training room, we have two five panel enclosures. So you can see an example as we're going through. We also will have a fully built rack at the front of the room, the same as the training benches. So you can kind of see how that should look. Um, it's obviously very exciting times, you know, it's all coming together now, it's been hard work, you've obviously seen the week six update, by the time you'll see this video, that's going to be the end of week seven, so by the end of week seven, we've got all our termination boxing and stuff, but we'll touch base with that on another video, I just wanted to show you Art Smart picking up the largest ever Control 4 order.